everyone and welcome. I'm Melissa Armo and I am a stock swoosh. And today I wanted to talk to you about motivation. I think before you begin trading, if this is in fact something that you want to do, or even if you're trading right now, you should still think about this and be aware of and touch what is your motivation for trading. Again, for, for me when I first started out, I wanted to change careers. So that was a big motivation for me. I wanted a new career and it was a huge motivation. Obviously, anyone that trades, you're doing it for the goal of making money, okay? But what is your true, true, true motivation? Yes, you want to make money, but are you doing this because you want to have a new career? Or are you doing this because you want to make money to buy a certain item, like a home or a car? Are you doing this to, for, your, for your retirement, to save for your retirement, to create a retirement nest egg? I think knowing the exact real full-on motivation is very helpful for you because when you get up in the morning and you're doing this or before you even start, before you even take a class like mine, I think you got to know why really are you doing this. Obviously, you want to make money. That goes without saying. I think it's you have to keep that in the forefront of your mind every day when you're trading too. But what is your biggest motivation for trading? Why do you want to do this? Okay. So I think if you can be in touch with that, it's really going to help you out in the long run and the short run because some days are fabulous when you're trading and then some days are a little bit harder than others. And if you know really what the true motivation is for you doing this, it'll help you through the rough days and it also will keep you on point and and, and on target to stay focused, to achieve your goals. Again, the monetary goals, which is obviously what you want, which is the result, which is the money. But if the, it's the motivation behind it, the meat and potatoes that keeps you going every single day, getting up early in the morning, doing the work, studying your charts, again, taking a class like mine, investing in the money for a class like mine to do it. Having that motivation is very important and being aware of it. And for me, it was a couple of things. One, I wanted to get back to New York. Two, I wanted to change careers. I mean, I just had I had a lot of things that were that were at the forefront of my mind that were pushing me forward. Desires, things, things that I wanted, not just the money, but but the outcome. And for some people, really, with trading, it's the lifestyle. You know, you can work from home. Your hours are shorter. You have weekends off. The market closes every day at four o'clock, so you're not working past that time, no matter what, anyways. And so that, again, can be a huge motivation for people that are working uh, overtime or long hours. Now, I know some people are working from home, but there's also the thing about the job security. When you work for yourself and you're independent and when you trade, you're really working for yourself. When you trade, you can trade your own money. You are working for yourself. You're your own boss. And that can be a big motivation, too, in these times right now where people are uncertain about the future of their jobs. And they don't know really what the future holds for whatever position they have. And even if they're currently working from home, they may not know where they're going to be six, 12 months down the road. So if you can teach yourself how to make money in the market and train, that too is a huge motivation to be able to work for yourself, work less hours, and to be able to set your own course and be independent. I think if your personality is that you are an independent person, an entrepreneur, it's really going to help you be successful in the market. And, and that's my personality, and it's the reason that I'm successful running my own business. Everybody is different. Everybody has different motivations. Everybody has different strengths and weaknesses. Try to get in touch with those with yourself. And in the long run, it's going to help you be better and be honest with yourself. Because again, you can change. You can evolve. You can become a stronger person than you are right now. And you can also learn how to trade and become a better trader, even if you're doing it currently. If you'd like more information, email me and Melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day.